Hello, beautiful souls. So we are on to lesson 230 today. And I feel, again, it's a perfect extension from yesterday as we keep building on the last. For yesterday, we were reminded that love, which created me, is what I am. Therefore, we no longer need to seek for what we think we want because we have found what we are. We have found our true identity, which is love. And so today we are putting into practice that now will I seek and find the peace of God. In knowing myself to be love, I no longer need to seek and find it, for it is found. And in the knowingness of what I am as love, so is the peace of God. So is the peace of God. And how else do we bring the world to peace? But reminding ourselves through the power of love that there is no peace but the peace of God. And in knowing ourselves as love, which is created by love, we rest in the space of peace of God and then once the peace of God has illuminated our mind it literally shines throughout the world and encompasses all of the world and brings us all to the light of peace so this is world peace beautiful souls it's born in us for it never dies we are simply letting it shine from the source which is where it is where it extends from and where it will always be so today now will I seek and find the peace of God and find the peace of God. It's no longer hidden. It's no longer hidden. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Hmm. In peace, I was created. And in peace, do I remain. It is not given me to change myself. How merciful is God, my Father, that when he created me, he gave me peace forever. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me when it is forever so? Hmm. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me when it is forever so? We, ha we continually are reminded that we came to this world to experience what we are not. And in experiencing what we are not, we also experience depression, pain, sickness, death, fear, anxiety, worry, stress. And all of those are the effects of what we thought that we were. And thinking that we are a body, we are caught within the birth and death cycle and we experience pain and psychosis of all different kinds. If not in us directly, in those that are around us and in the world. And what we are remembering today is that God created us in peace forever. And that who we really are is not hidden from our sight or our awareness. We simply must be willing to let go of what we originally thought that we were and accept what we are as God created us to be. For it is in peace that we are created. We are the extension of love itself. And love and peace go hand in hand. These are no longer some hippie words, but they are the truth of our being as God created us to be. And love and peace truly is the power that can transform this entire world. But it isn't going to come from a love and a peace that is outside of us. It is going to come from a love and a peace that is remembered within us. And so as we dive within today, we have the guide to meet us where we are. To let us truly look into our minds and become witness of the peace of God that is there and the love that we are. And so today, can this truly be denied when this is forever our reality? Eternal love, eternal peace, unchanging what we were and are before time began, now and after time ends. Let's allow ourselves to contemplate this today. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. This means then that what we are is not hidden from our awareness. What we are is no longer hiding in the dark. 
because what we are is not found in the dark. It is found in the light. So when we turn away from the dark, so are we looking directly on the light of Christ and we see the truth of what we are. So now will I seek and find the peace of God. So let's celebrate in our prayer here today. Time for prayer. Let's close our eyes. Father, I seek the peace you gave as mine in my creation. What was given then must be here now, for my creation was apart from time and still remains beyond all change. The peace in which your son was born into your mind is shining there, unchanged. I am as you created me. I need but call on you to find the peace you gave. It is your will that gave it to your son. This is God's will that we be in perfect happiness and peace eternal, knowing ourselves to be love and give love. This is God's will for us, and we share in this function. So there's absolutely nothing that keeps this love and eternal peace from our awareness and experience, except our own choosing that we will to be something else other than what God wills for us. So let's remind ourselves that our will is joined with God and today, in saying this prayer, that we realize that we are asking God, we are calling upon God to find the peace that he gave. For he gave it already. He's not withholding it. It is from before time, in time, and will extend after time. It is always here. It is always now. So in this now moment, let us seek the peace that he gave. He gave us in our creation. And as we seek for the peace that he gave us in our creation, we realize it is found because our Father already gave it to us wholly and completely entirely, for he loves us as he is love. And so enjoy today's lesson. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Look within beautiful souls. It is there to be found. Mwah.